Thank you, Inga Dora. Your Royal Highness, Chairman of the Arctic Circle, dear colleagues, excellences, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends of Arctic. On behalf of the Government of Greenland, I am proud to speak at this session and showcase business possibilities in Greenland, potential partnership with Greenland. Greenland has been through a rapid development the last decades. Politically, we have taken over many areas of competence, including fisheries, minerals, raw materials, education, industry, energy, research, just to name a few. The Government of Greenland welcomes all initiatives and investments that will support a continued and positive development of our country. Our ambition is greater autonomy as we want to create and determine our own future. And the key for this ambition is economic growth to achieve a self-sustaining economy. The Government of Greenland welcomes the increasing interest in our country from around the world and interest when conducted responsible can benefit our people in many different ways. Whether it's regarding in infrastructure, tourism, minerals and other commercial projects, we are open for cooperation with partners abroad as to create new opportunities and possibilities for Greenlanders today and for our future generations. On the political level, we continuously work to implement initiatives that support a continued development that can benefit both Greenland and our partners. We are aware that a well-functional infrastructure is crucial for continued and strong partnership with the increasing globalized world. This is why in November 2018, a majority in the parliament agreed on the construction of the three new airport runways. One in the capital, Nuuk, one in the north, Eluriset, and one in, in the south, Arokdok. They are set to open late in 2023. The new airport will make our country much more accessible, a development, a development which can benefit our society, industry, and businesses. Besides this, it will make it possible for transatlantic air connection directly from North America and Europe. With our infra investments in infrastructure, I am proud to say that Greenland is becoming more and more suited for the developments also in other parts of the Arctic. Besides our investments in the aviation infrastructure, a long-standing desire was fulfilled with inauguration of a new Atlantic port in Nuuk in September 2017. The new port, Shikuki Harbor, has expanded the capacity for cargo shipping and has already had a positive impact of possibilities for easy transport and hereby economic development. The new port will also be able to support the expected increased shipping in Greenlandic waters due to warmer climate and better accessible sea routes in the Arctic waters. As you can, as you can hear, opening our country for a global community and industry is key. Mr. Werner Hamiken from Royal Arctic Line will be able to provide more information on this matter at, later at this session. Beside our infrastructure investment, the Government of Greenland and local businesses are focused on attracting more tourists, this naturally in a sustainable manner. In recent years, we have experienced a steady increase of tourists, as you can see in the statistics behind me. Even though the numbers are not near the growth in other countries, a steady increase has already made a, dif made a difference and will continue to have a positive impact for our country and local businesses. We are working on attracting more tourists, which can support our economic development. 
I do predict Greenland to become the new frontier of tourism growth. Many investors within hotel and accommodation facilities have, has already announced plans, plans, and some already initiated investments. In this in the light of the upcoming infrastructure. A new modern hotel in Italy said is under construction and more being considered from local and foreign investors. A new updated tourism strategy is in the process of being prepared. The strategy will focus on sustainable tourism and will therefore be an important steering document in the years to come. There is, a, there is as well a general interest in the mining sector of Greenland with two active mines at the moment. There is an increase, there is an increase these years in activities within prospecting sector with new projects being announced. So a number of projects are being considered for implementation properly we will see both new mines and prospecting projects in Greenland in years to come. I predict the mining sector will become much stronger contributor to our economy in the future, probably be an important part of the foundations for an independent Greenland. We have lately seen an increased interest into our deposits of rare earth elements which are considered to be among the largest, if not the largest, deposits in the world. With an increased involvement from outside and investments in Greenland, we must highlight that local know-how is very much essential for successful projects. Therefore, I would also like to encourage partnerships with locals and our countrymen as our countrymen and businesses are naturally the expert in, experts in dealing with difficult conditions in our Arctic homeland. For possible partnership and investments ventures, Mr. Carsten Hoy from Greenland Businesses will touch up this project. I would like to repeat what Premier Kim Kielsen's message during his speech. Everyone is welcome to do business with us and do investments with us. We do not distinguish or discriminate between foreign investments, but it is important to point out that it must be under our terms and you must follow our country's laws and regulations. And this, of course, applies to everyone. To sum up, Greenland is open for business, and the government of Greenland has the ambition to facilitate a positive economic development in Greenland for the mutual benefits for both Greenland and our partners. I would like to thank our ex existing partners for a long-standing cooperation, and I will look, I will look forward to welcome new partnerships. Thank you.